Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and I'm playing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Procedural Death Jam. Just a reminder that I will be playing each game for one minute, ten games per video. Thank you for watching this, and please leave a like. If you want to see the full intro, see part one. Thanks. Next. Next we're playing Cyber De Key, which is a game that we also played for the Cyberpunk Jam. Um, it's so pretty. So pretty. Such a pretty game. I really like pretty games. Well, I'm really not. I wasn't sure the first time. I'm not sure again what to do in this game. It said stuff about going through processes or whatever to start them. It's just so pretty. It's just such a pretty, 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 pretty game. And I love it very much. I want to go up here, though. Up. Over. Down. Hmm. I like some strange maze. Now we go this way. Look at that, our paths crossed. However, this one continues. Go up this way. Look at all these beautiful colors. Alright, next. Next we're playing Airship Dragoon Rogues. Um fighter. I'll tell you when the world generation's over. Okay. Kinda cool looking. How do I fight these muggles? Oh, I don't know what keys. She died. No shit. Okay, let's, let's read instructions. WSD to move. One for a weapon. Left control for stealth. Space by attack. Alright, so right shift is what I should do. Is this my right? Right shift. I'm not sure if I like this. Again, one sec. Alright, let's find some people and kill them real quick. Ooh, look at that attack. Armed damage bonus. Come on, people. Hello, I want to kill you. There's a person. We'll kill him. We'll kill him. We can't, like, harm them. Alright, next. Next, we're playing Gollum Quest. A wizard has misplaced four powerful animal figures as the wilderness is dangerous. He has summoned some golems and tasked with them. Search and retrieve. The only movement key is needed. Bump into stuff to attack. I have ice. Fire. Normal. Yeah. Guessing this is all correct. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna kill this thing. We're like a nasty, nasty. No, I'm being teamed up on. It's a bit glitchy. My health's really depleting. Oh, I'm dead. Well, no short lives. I need to flush page, so I'm just gonna say next, next. Next, we're playing Hacks Run. Runner. This jumping's a bit tiny and weird. I like how I use the purple monster, or pink monster, because I feel like I haven't seen a lot of the pink monster, and I'm liking how it's getting faster. I wish there were things to collect and stuff. Aw. Next. Next, we're playing Tower of Akaris. Right. This is kind of cool. Hey, that's that. Ah, uh -huh. I fell. I don't remember how you use. Potion. Oh, down. Okay. 
Mm, really nice. Uh huh. I suck at it, but it's really nice. I think there's like a way. Oh. Nope, I just gave him power. This? Oh yeah, we got this. I have to say next, this is pretty cool. Next, next we're playing Lamp and Vamp, which doesn't quite fit into my screen, but whatever. Alright, level one. You're a vampire and your goal is to reach your grave. Stay in the shadows or the hunters will chase you. Houses and trees protect you from the light. You can bite an enemy when you're on the shadows next to him. Uh, so I can jump through these things. When you're in the fog, you can press through enemies and houses. Good luck. Alright. What do I do? Just like click. I feel like I'm dead. Yeah, that was. Hmm. Do it again. Hmm, I'm not very good at this game. Next. Next we're playing Rogue Horse. I guess on Facebook, blah, blah, blah. No, nah. I don't know how to play this. Oh god, how much I don't know how to play this. Hmm. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. So I can move like that of a horse. One, two, three, over. It's never very good at chess, let alone any other of those things. That means I can get this one though. Hmm, next. Next we're playing procedural death racing. Yep, that's gonna be my name, that's gonna be my track number. Let's start. Okay. Should have read the instructions. One sec. Okay, I ended up restarting it because basically it's a turn based thing where you gotta stay in the red. I mean, blue. And see, as they become farther away, the decision you make can end with us hitting a wall. How awesome I am at this game! So very, very awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, got through that one. Awesome, 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 awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. Next. Next we're playing Rust. Start the new mission. Ooh. Fancy graphics when you straight. Oh, that thing looks scary. What happens if we kill it? Yeah, you did. Hmm. Nope, I don't want to go through the hole. Ooh, another one. Come here. Yeah, you did. Ooh. Oh, that one took a little bit longer. Took a little bit more of my energy to kill that one. Ooh, there's tons of them here. Alright. Come here. Come here, guy. I'm gonna kill you. Awesome. 
Just taking joy in killing things. Had a rough day. A few days, actually. Long week, maybe. Some people would say. However. Wait, what does this thing do? Get off the square. I wanted to be down. Alright, next. Next we're playing Escape Before You Die. Reach the blessed get exit to win. Tap the arrow keys. Press space to reset. I'm gonna refresh though, because I know what's happening here. I opened up this thing that I downloaded, and just checking that. Hmm. Tap the arrow keys to move. Right, sec. See, I really wanted to play this game, and it's not working, but basically, you have a little square, that guy, whoop, little square, that guy, and you die after a few seconds, but you gotta hit a blue thing. I don't know. Next.